In my last video, I showed you all my flight simulator, along with the use of magnets. But today, I'm going to show you something completely different. So, you are all probably familiar with component cables, or AV cables, or whatever you want to call these. But I recently found this weird cable, which I think was in my last video, but I didn't talk about it, it was just sitting there. And uh, if you take a look at this, there we go. If you take a look at this, it's component on one end and a 35 millimeter jack, 3.5 millimeter jack on the other. So if we plug the 3.5 millimeter jack into the camera and then plug that into the TV, you can see it starts going a little crazy. So if I whistle, it doesn't look perfect on the phone, but it is pretty much perfect little lines. Let me change my frame rate. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty cool. And even without this cable, there's another cool thing you can do, which is hear video. So back with the regular jack, you can put the video signal into the audio signal. So now, whatever you look at changes how the hum sounds. I wonder what zooming in sounds like. That's one thing I love about old tech is there were a lot fewer uh, safety things and you could kind of just plug anything into anything else and it would just kind of, it would do something. So now let me grab my laptop and let's play with some waveforms. Laptop acquired. So uh, this is just a free waveform online app with a bunch of ads. So if we turn up the volume, there's our waveform. So it's currently a sine wave, but we can make it a sawtooth or a square wave. or a triangle wave. I love that you can also kind of hear the waveform uh, from the CRT because of the slight expansion and contraction of the magnetic coils. We can also change the pitch. Oh, that's weird. It's like it's trying to track, but it's failing. There we go, this one's pretty regular. There's a thousand hertz. And it does not sound happy. <laughs> 200. There we go, 200 seems to be one of the smallest stable ones. So yeah, that's pretty neat, I guess. So, there is a whole barrel of fun to be had with with a cable like this. And if you can get your hands on one of these, uh, this one came with a camera from Canon. Um, I think it was originally meant for like data or something. I don't really know. Uh, but if you can get your hands on one of these, um, this is super fun to play around with. And I think it would also be pretty darn easy to make one of these. Uh, and maybe I should try that in a future video, making a custom cable. Let me know if you want to see that.